The essential questions for this unit are, how is linear motion related to rotational motion? And how can rotational motion be used to simulate gravity? By the end of this video, you should be able to describe the directions of velocity and acceleration of an object moving in a circular path. Define period and frequency, and compare and calculate rotational and tangential speeds. We're going to be discussing circular motion in this unit. Rotation and revolution are both describing circular motion. However, in rotation, the axis along which a, an object rotates is inside the object. Whereas for revolution, the axis that it's going around is outside the object. For both of these types of motion, the same equations are going to be used. Here we have an object, the blue rectangle, moving in a circular path. So it's going to be moving along the black circle in the direction of the red arrow. The velocity of this object is going to be tangent to the circle. So velocities of an object moving in a circle are always tangent to the circle at that point. And acceleration is going to be inward. The velocity of the object is going to be changing even if the speed is remaining constant because the direction of the object's motion is changing. In order for this direction to change, the acceleration must be inward. Period and frequency are two things that are very important to define for circular motion. The period of any object is the time it takes for one complete cycle. In terms of circular motion, the time it takes for the object to move around the circle once. Frequency is measured in hertz. Hertz is equivalent to 1 over seconds. So frequency is the number of cycles per unit time. So if you're trying to calculate the frequency, you'll plug in the number of cycles and divide that by the time it takes for that number of cycles. To find period, that would be the time divided by the number of cycles. T is equal to 1 over F, so period is equal to 1 divided by frequency. The longer the period is, the lower the frequency is going to be. Rotational speed is, it, is the number of cycles per second, or how many times it's going to rotate in a given amount of time. Rotational speed and tangential speed are both used to describe the velocity of an object that's moving in a circular path. Rotational speed is going to be the same for any point within a disk that's moving because the entire disk is rotating together so all points are going to be rotating at the same rotational speed. If this outside box takes five seconds to go all the way around the circle, the inside box is also going to take five seconds to turn around. However, if you notice, the outside box is going to be taking a longer path than the inside box would be taking. So the outside box will be going faster, but not in terms of rotational speed. That would be in terms of tangential speed. Tangential speed is kind of like the linear speed, but we're talking about moving in a circle. So we won't be able to give the direction for it because the direction will constantly be changing. But remember from the first units that velocity is equal to distance divided by time. That's exactly what we're going to be doing here, except the distance in this case is the distance around the circle. So sometimes it might not give you the distance around the circle. You might need to use the circumference formula. Circumference is equal to 2 pi r, or pi times d, the diameter. Be very careful to note whether it's given you the diameter or the radius in a question. But all you would be doing is plugging in the circumference for the distance around the circle and dividing it by time, just like we did in the um, first units when we were talking about linear speed. So the tangential velocity is equal to 
2 pi r, the circumference of the circle, divided by t.